In this episode, I'll be sharing some simple tips on how to use pads selection and channel in coloring your work in GIMP. Okay, so let's start. Um, create a layer, a separate layer where you can color. Then start. Uh, shaping your pad by using the pad tool the uh, pad tool in blender that's p-a-t-h okay pad tool uh it takes some time to get the hang of using the pad tool same as in photoshop or in illustrator or, or any vector drawing program out there There you go. It will be a tedious task and you really need to get used to using the the pad tool by manipulating the sides or the corners or the points. So yeah, I've been um, yeah, I've been uh, it's been my favorite tool in all the in, in most of the pro, uh, most of the graphic programs out there even in other programs too like Krita or Inkscape and it's very it's very um useful uh, the pad tool is very useful or the uh sometimes they call it the pen tool in other programs too so just get used to use get used to using this tool and I think you'll be good in making your selections or your uh, or your other task using this uh, tool there you go just close the path and um, after doing this I look for the tools options in the the side nav of the program I don't know where they put it uh, it's somewhere there and uh, just some advice um, try to organize your tools so you won't have a problem looking for it for it like me it's taking me some time just to look for the tool options uh yeah there you go found it so there's a <clears throat> option there that says selection from bat <coughs> excuse me so what will this do is it will create selection from your bat and uh you can the, the theory is you can save this um, selection in your channel which will help you to select uh, to have that selection in some time if you like if you have a like if you selected it or accidentally uh, deselected the selection and you want to select that selection again the same selection you made from your pad so I think I'm, that's not the pro. That's not the. I think. Um, uh, I think I was not able to save it in the channel. Uh, let me check the proper way of saving it to your channel. So what will I do is I will select it again, or um, select the selection again by going to the pad. From by going to the pad um, menu, because. When you create a pad, it's always saved in the pad menu, or game recalls that pad. So you can always select that pad again by going to the pad selection, 
path uh, menu select that path again and uh, do the same process and uh, press selection from path in the in the tools options what needs to be done here is that save that selection to your channel by going to select and save selection to channel and there you go your selection is now saved in your channel and um, when you want to recall that selection you can always right click on the thumbnail and choose uh, channel to selection and from there you can begin uh, isolating that part of your drawing and coloring on it sometimes it's get uh, it's kind of tricky because uh, if you're if you're a Photoshop user and you're going to use GIMP you have some learning curve to learn the learn to navigate the toolbars the navigation bars <clears throat> and using the tools but you'll get the hang of it uh, saving selection to your channel is also available in Photoshop so this won't be too hard to learn the concept is still the same so I'm having a hard time yeah there you go uh, multiply the layer make sure uh, the layers uh, the um, mode of the layer the layers are correct so so I can um, view or be able to uh, view the colors right in my drawing I think I'm good to go. Yes. So if you want to recall that path, you can go to the path menu. Click on the thumbnail which the which game generated, like, like the, the path that you made and uh, it's generated automatically in the path menu. If you want to recall that path, you can just go to path menu and select that path and you can uh, choose selection from path to create the same selection you made but you can also go to your channel menu and uh, the the selection that you saved a while ago is already there so you, you have two options you can go to path menu and select or use the path that you made a while ago that was generated automatically by GIMP and create uh, or make another uh, make a new selection from that path or if you have if you are able to save that selection in your channel you can um, go to the channel menu and select the selection from your channel so I think there you go uh, you're ready to color your artwork or isolate any part of your artwork you by using uh, the method or by using the by using paths and selection to isolate some parts of your drawing that you want to color or uh, isolate from the rest of the image I th think that's it uh, I'll be coloring this artwork like a I'll be coloring this quickly so yep i i hope i have i were i was uh, i was able to help you and i was able to share some knowledge to you <laughs>